Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing with the Mr. Snowman die from Sizzix. It is the Tim Holtz colorized uh, dies and there are 11 dies in this set and they are marked for you um, like white one, white two, red one, red two, red three, you know, black, gray, uh, so on and so forth. So you'll see me here. I've um, dive into your scraps for all these little dies and um, I just set it all up on my uh, Gemini and I cut them all at one time and so I'm poking them all out there are a lot of little dots in this die and um, I you'll see me here on this one use all of those little bitty tiny dots but I want to tell you that it's quite tedious -some. A great alternative to using all those little dots is to get out your Jelly Roll black glaze pen and then your Jelly Roll white pen. And for those dots, use those. And the glaze pen dimension, you know, really gives it, the, you know, that little bit of raisedness, just like if it was a, a die cut, almost. And I'll show you more of that, you know, later in the video. But... It will save you a lot of time and a lot of aggravation. <laughs> so, but these are really great dice die sets. I love the colorized line. They are just so unique and so cute. And this little guy can take center stage on a on a card. And I'll have another video where we'll make a card for this guy. But basically, I'm just planning a, an ink blended background and some white splatter for snow and a sentiment and there you go because this little guy he's he's big and he'll take center stage on a four and a quarter by five and a half or if you put like a you know a couple of snow slopes and stuff on there you can easily have him on the front of a you know five by seven card as well so what i did to really show off you know the different sections of him is i inked around the edges with tumble glass and I just used my uh, ink blending tool for all the big ones. And then for the, all the little stuff, I used one of those mini detail um, blending sticks with the little foam pad on the end. And it that worked really well. So on the red and stuff, I used a vintage photo to just give it a, you know, a little bit of dimension around each of the little layered pieces. And it's real easy to tell where they go because on the under layer, there the dies do score. And so you can see where the layer on top of it goes. And so it's um, in that respect, they're, they're very easy to put together. But just in all those little bitty tiny dots, that was something. So, um, but it's fun to do and, you know, what I like to do is have a Hallmark movie playing in the background and I just sit there and cut things out and glue them together and it's it's uh, fun and uh, I enjoy it. But anyway, so it's been a few days since uh, video because uh, Leighton and I went to Kentucky and we uh, checked out a school, Sullivan University up there and uh, he really enjoyed it it's you know it's a small school so it's small classroom size but uh, they have a, a, a big reputation so uh, that in the culinary world so uh, that was good and he liked it and you know I think he's decided that's that's where he wants to go although it was just pretty gets pretty cold up there so he little Texas boy is gonna have to get used to that but uh, we enjoyed it up there. I think it probably during the, the summer and spring, it's probably very pretty. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, very cold and, and uh, you know, winterized right now. But there's a lot of great restaurants there. We went to the Louisville Slugger Museum while we were there and learned about the history of bats and making bats and stuff. So that was cool and how they maintain their forestry. And so that was very interesting. And then we also went to Churchill Downs and we went to the Kentucky Derby Museum and um, we did the tour. So we got to, to go out and watch a live race. 
And so that was a lot of fun, too. So I'd never been to uh, Churchill Downs. I've always wanted to go to the Kentucky Derby. So since he'll be up there, maybe I will finally get to attend a derby and get me one of those really big cool hats. Because, you know, if you go to the derby, you got to have the really big cool hat, right? Right. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so uh, what else is going on? So we're on baby watch right now. You know, my daughter is um, scheduled for next Tuesday to deliver because uh, she does C-section. But um, she went to the doctor uh, yesterday because, um, you know, she's been having a lot of contractions and they said that she was 50% effaced. So um, I guess that this little baby girl could make a surprise entrance on us so we are on baby watch and let's see um other than that i'm just uh, trying to get caught up you know i am so behind on getting christmas cards started and done and the uh, holidays are looming and today i need to go over to the ranch house and uh, put finishing touches up on uh on that for the guests coming in tomorrow and then as soon as they leave then i have new guests coming in the same day so we got to do one of those three hour turnarounds and then we have guests that'll be coming in for the thanksgiving week uh, so that's busy busy and um it would just uh you know all the normal holiday this and that so but i I've got uh, several things filmed, so there will be lots of videos coming really soon. And I said, I've got to get on these cards. So as I do send out uh, quite a few cards for the holidays, and I'm usually uh, at least halfway there by now, and I really haven't really started much. So, <laughs> But uh, as I had said before, um, we will also have other projects, Christmas projects other than cards. So um, looking forward to showing you all the new stuff that I'm doing there. And I got a fun wine themed uh, Christmas thing too. So that's always fun. Uh, oh, uh, update on the winery is that, uh, you know, we got the final plans and we've got a couple of different contractors quoting it. So I um, hope to have quotes back and decisions made you know, um, after Thanksgiving, I'm sure. And so we can maybe break ground before Christmas. That would be awesome. And if we get some good luck with some weather, maybe we'll even get a foundation before Christmas. That would be awesome. So yeah, so that is a update on our front here. And I'm almost finished putting together this little guy, even with all these little tiny pieces. Because there are black dots, and then the black dots for his smile have gray highlight dots that are even smaller. So, yeah. Um, and then the more sticky my fingers got, the harder it was to let go of those little things. Uh, so, yeah, definitely the Jelly Roll glaze pens are the way to go uh, for that smile on, on him. The, the button... Um, is cool it's big uh the now the highlights on the button you know maybe you want to opt to do that with a white gel pen too you know instead of the little gray highlights you know that it the die has you uh put on them and i did do a backer for um uh, some of these pieces too oh i did screw up here i um i should have put um the arms what did i what did i mess up on one part i didn't put something on before i did the other thing and i had to cut the hand off oh the arm that's over the body i should have put uh, the black on top of the red because when the red cuts out it cuts out a red arm too and you should put the black on top of the red arm and i did not do that i put the black on the snowman and so i just had to cut off the hand and then just glue it into place um so that's uh, a little tip there 
to because uh, you want that double layer because it really gives it you know some reinforcement on those little uh, tiny areas like that so we're getting closer here just using that detail brush on some of those little layers and I like the the zig two-way glue pin for some of these small things because you know it has the roller ball tip on it so you really get good control over the glue for a, a small area and if it's real small you just dot it and uh, you get plenty of glue on there okay I'm going to speed this along because I want to get to the fun part because I, I told you at the end I was going to show you um, what the black glaze looks like and I'm also going to do some custom hangers with my BB crafts beads that I got so okay here we are so these are the two that I made where I just used the black gla glaze pens and I'm going to just use my um, crocodile 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 <laughs> to punch some holes in the top here and then I'll take some 20 gauge wire snip off a, a length I don't know three or four inches and first I make the round part on the end to put the uh, snowman on and so you just kind of make a like a fish hook eye and bend it back straight and whenever you want to open something like this to put an a um, you know, whatever you have dangling on there. Um, you don't bend it open, you bend it to the side. Because if you bend it open, it's not, not going to ever close back right. So bend it to the side and then um, pinch it back closed. And that way it will stay. So I'm just adding beads here. And I, I left in all my little mistakes and, and footage here because I'm new at this. And so I wanted you to see that um, I, I, you know, made mistakes and stuff, but it still turned out really cute. And so if you're afraid to try this because, you know, you don't know if you can do it, you know, or not, don't be afraid. Everybody makes mistakes and you get the hang of this uh, really quickly. I, um, I was just using a, a, a fireplace lighter there too to uh, bend the my the circle in my in my hook there but anyway it's a lot of fun so um, that pretty much finishes up these little hooks so here's a look at the original one with all the little die cuts and then here's a look at the ones with the glaze pins and the fancy hooks so cute right well thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video